What is up everyone this is Karan here to welcome back to Tech Karan YouTube channel we are talking about Nusantra OS which is one of the great kind of custom rooms available for a lot of devices this time in my hands i have installed the Nusantra room which is based on android version 11 and i have installed it on my Redmi Note 9 Pro it's a mere tool build so can be installed on Redmi Note 9S Redmi Note 9 Pro Max Poco M2 Pro and Redmi Note 9 Pro Cortana all these devices are supported for this build you just need to install the zip file and then i going to share with you the review and installation of this build which is called Nusantra OS alongside with that i'm going to share with you that how about the geekbench score how about the antutu score how's the battery backup a lot more things in this video stay tuned and make sure to watch this video till the end video is going to be quite interesting so let's get started Okay, let's take a brief look at this information and Nusantra project which is based on Android version 11. The Nusantra version 2.5 run will official version which I am using in my hands and we have the December 2020 security patch. January 2020 security patch update is also coming very very soon. We are going to take a look at that later but now we have this one after using from approximately 48 hours the room seems to be quite good and this seems to be quite good in the terms of performance first of all the performance is quite good the gesture response and the full screen gestures alongside with that touch response everything seems to be buttery here so in the in the terms of performance you can install this room definitely i was looking for the battery backup but unfortunately the battery backup was still good i thought that the battery backup was not good i saw approximately of 2% per hour idle drain which was more than enough but after that after using it from some time and now we have the 0.54% per hour which is still the most one because approximately 1% in 2 hours idle drain so not great but not bad too i am using this build as which has the google apps pre installed it has two builds available which has one build which has the google apps pre installed and one build which does not come with the google apps pre installed the build which has the google apps pre installed finally we got to see the pixel launcher pre installed i use some builds which has their own launcher like the ravens launcher in corvus os and some other launchers if you are even providing a um, google apps build and still not giving pixel launcher then it's very very bad in just my opinions but this one which is nusantra google apps build include the pixel launchers of course pixel launcher comes with very cool kind of customization only little bit but very interesting look we have we have the add app icons to home screen at a glance widget option is available and allow home screen rotation and including that some suggestions related things which you get in pixel launcher the full screen gestures as i previously told you working fine here we have this google search bar option available at the bottom here and other things seems to be nice if you go here we have some three options we already know home screen and widgets and now we have the styles and wallpapers but we have a lot of options available to customize your device wallpaper this is very interesting you don't need to install any third party app for that so styles and wallpapers is pre installed you can apply any kind of wallpaper from here directly by going here whenever you go you'll be able to apply the wallpapers and a very good kind of preview it will show you on your home screen like this home screen and lock screen so this seems to be really nice here you can simply set this for lock screen or or home screen whatever else you want to choose so for example if you want to choose this one click this one home screen and lock screen and it's done this is very interesting custom room i'm using it and also let's take a look at some other things in my quick settings you'll be able to see that a lot of things are customized till now you can see my icons like the wifi bluetooth etc and also bluetooth etc seems to be working fine i'm using the bluetooth from some time i have my watch connected yeah, as you can see watch is connected here the brightness slider has some cool kind of customization all these shapes are also customized this room comes with many cool kind of customizations in quick settings so this seems to be really great here other things are quite great here you can edit this footer from here in my case i have edited a to my own you can choose up to your own also and we have the option to customize a lot of tiles screenshot gaming mode option is available here to reboot heads up and other things are same here we have some cool kind of extra tiles like the files by google which means you can add the tiles from the third party apps this is interesting we have the xiaomi parts files by google digital well being we have the franco kernel manager settings options available and me explorer all the things are quite great you can add their tiles in this quick so this seems to be really nice here quick settings 
brightness slider has four kind of customization actually almost same just a uh, little bit of things are changed nothing else here let's take a look at some other things first of all we have the magisk manager and of course if you're using a custom room without magisk it's not a good case i'm using 21.1 version of magisk and by default the safety status expectedly is not passing as you can see a test station failed but yes we have a lot of methods to pass the safety status i have a dedicated video on that that how you can pass the safety net in a custom room if it is not passing for you that is working almost 99% you can give it a try if it is working for you it's great if it is still not working for you it's bad luck we have other methods available I will try to show you very very soon those methods now let's take a look at the Geekbench score once uh, how about the Geekbench score and how it is going on in my case I am using this device and the Geekbench score is 549 is a single core and 1437 is a multi core score the single core score seems to be really great but the multi core is not looking so great even 1300 plus we already normally get in redmi note 8 and this one is redmi note 9 pro with snapdragon 720g it should be far better than this one but single core treatment score is quite good you can see 549 it's far more better than these kind of devices redmi note 8 pro poco f1 as galaxy s8 redmi note 7 even galaxy a71 is behind this but if you compare it to the multi core there are a lot of devices which are far better than this for example example even the redmi note 8 pro is far better than this one we have the redmi note 9 pro still it's quite bad so multi-core comparison is not good but yes it's all about the scores some guys will believe these scores some guys will not believe this score this is this was just my work that's why i shown you so we have the antutu benchmark options are available here too what about the antutu benchmark score this seems to be good 2,55,661 is the n to benchmark score in my case so this seems to be really nice here this is a not bad and as you can see average we got 261181 this is the normal average one but now we have 255661 so which is also not bad normal kind of thing and the performance is good it depends upon how you use your device the numbers does not matter a lot so it depends on how you use your device how much multitasking do you in your device a lot of things matters for that but these scores just don't matter we have the google camera go edition pre-installed for these users you can use this google camera go edition by default and of course we have a lot of option of installing the gcam on a device we have the gcam 7.4 gcam 8.0 and a little bit of more things all the things i have already shown you let's take a look at the settings first of all and how the settings look is almost same kind of things which you get in android version 11 based devices going for the battery related things i have more of more eight hours eight hours and more off screen time till now i have 34 percent battery still left let me show you my battery stats it's just without gaming and honestly battery stats are not bad but not great too let me show you my active drainage first of all that how much active drain i could get it has approximately of 6% per hour with idle drain of 0.54% per hour, 8 hours plus here on time and all the stats are here and the battery stats are good because of the high performance, the performance based custom room I can see after using it some time, I could see that this is a performance based custom room seems to be really good. Display sound etc has same kind of features which are expected and also it includes the face lock option available. I haven't set it up yet but face lock is a available and also we have the we does not have that app locker which should be available but it's not there so app locker is not available but face lock is available xiaomi pass include the same kind of customization me sound enhancer and other things and this is one of my favorite which is called enable usb fast charge and seems to be same here things are quite great nisantra wings which includes many kind of customizations take a brief look at all these customization theme notification and miscellaneous lock screen and fingerprint battery carry label clock icon manager quick settings traffic indicators buttons navigation and all these are the customizations which you get here and if you go for the themes we have some customization where you can customize the font type of course these fonts are just changing here it will not support the third party apps and all we already know about that it is kind of the same like msm extended and the legion os but yes you can customize still now Nusantra Wings background, theme, ASIN color, font types, quick setting, header style and here we have the brightness slider tile which you can adjust. I am using a type D if I choose the type C option for example. So let me show you my battery. This one is little bit changed if you compare to the previous one. So if we change it to type B now, it will be changed even with this one now. 
like this one as you can see this is how you can customize your brightness slider and little bit of things this is the radius which you can also adjust here by going here i think this is rounded corner which you can adjust with the rectangle medium or large all the things i have already shown you other things if you go for it notification miscellaneous has the same kind of things like the gaming mode and all and same kind of features which you get in all the aosp based custom rooms all those customizations are same so not going to talk about all those the main things i already shown you the battery backup camera and to two geek bench matches a lot more things i've already shown you i hope you got it and i hope you like this video if you like this don't forget to like and share this video if you're new here don't forget to subscribe me thanks for watching and goodbye